everybody, welcome back to another episode of Surviving Alpha 18, my 7 Days to Die series. So, yeah, I've been a bit of work on the base here uh, last night. Um, and I'm kind of getting the roof into slowly into place here. As you can see, I've got the uh, walls upgraded to cobble here all the way around. We've got some nice uh, windows and stuff added on here. They're just more for aesthetic uh, purposes, but we need one more for here. Which is why I kind of keep all the ones that I find. Um, but after that uh, alternate horde base uh, in the series I've been kind of, not series, but in the uh, game I've been playing on the side uh, when I'm really tired, um, that base got completely obliterated. Well, not obliterated, but it was a day 30 horde and it was a tough one. Um, and the way I've got things set up here, this just is not going to work. Uh, they will just wreck this place. So I've rethought a little bit of what I want to do. Uh, I still want to kind of um, maintain what we've got here and use it as a backup. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to build out a little further. Uh, and I'm going to do a single kind of walkway um, that the zombies have to kind of come up and go across to get to where I am. Uh, and I'm going to do the same thing as I kind of did in that uh, other... Uh, video where I kind of had a kill zone where they would come to the door. Uh, this time I'm going to have it double doored uh, and set up so that I'm not standing by the door but kind of uh, perpendicular to it so that when they're at the door I'm shooting them from the side. Uh, that way if demolishers show up, which they didn't on that night, thank God, but if demolishers do show up, uh, I won't accidentally shoot them in the uh, um, explosion activation location. Uh, I guess that's about the only way I can say it. Uh, but yeah, so we're going to need a lot more resources to do what I want to do here. Uh, I think this part of the base is probably going to be fine. I mean, we do need to add guardrails along here. Um, but I think this part of the base is probably fine at this point. Um, but we're going to need a lot of concrete. And what I want to do is I want to build out across here. Um, and I, I want to put a drawbridge, but I don't know if we'll get to that point where it's going to be a drawbridge but we'll build out this way um, and this will be kind of where our where we're going to be standing um, and then along here there's going to be a walkway where the zombies can come up and come along the walkway i want to make it about one block wide and then uh, on the side of it put a plate um, along there as well just to give it a little bit more uh, width and then on on the other side i'm going to put like an angled block so one half angle block like this. So if they get hit, they're going to slide off and fall and they got to come back around because I don't want to have them. I don't want to have too many at the door at the, at the same time. I think the big fault of my other bases had a big ramp. They all kind of came up and they just piled in the door. So I think if I can kind of mitigate the number of zombies that are coming to the door at one time, I think that will help. And we have the blade traps. I want to put them on the edge of that walkway so that when the zombies are coming along, they're getting hit by the blade traps before they get to the door. Now, yeah, they'll break partway through and there's not much I'll be able to do about that, but that's kind of going to be the goal. So I'm hoping, hopefully I can do it with minimum resources, uh, but I am going to have to take, if we go back inside real quick, I want to see what, it's been a little while since I recorded, so I want to just make sure what our status here is of what we got. So we've got no iron in there right now. We've got 337, so how much concrete do we have here? Yeah, he's enjoying the spikes out there. So, not a whole lot. Uh, and we're running low on cobble. So, yeah, we're going to need to get sand. Uh, which I know we can grind up with stone, but it's just easier to get sand. Um, if you actually do the math on it, uh, three hits for... Um, for uh, with an iron pickaxe that you can break one stone um, will give you... Uh, I mean, depending on what level you're at, around 80 stone. Um, we're gonna need these today, I think. So I want to go to the trader. We're not gonna do the. We're not gonna do mining and stuff today. We'll do it another time. But we need to get water. Let's just put. Uh, we need these. Well, uh, mm, we can always make some if we need them. Um, but yeah. So if you've got a uh, steel pickaxe, three hits, you can break a piece of stone, get 80 stone, and with a shovel, you can hit three. Um, bits of sand knocking one out each time and get th roughly 30 sand each so that's 90 it's faster to do it get stone sand wise um, which is why I kind of go after those go after the sand as opposed to uh, stone and where did that zombie go 
I guess he must have killed himself on the spikes out there. That's fine. So let's head over to the trader today first. Uh, we got a return to the trader. We just finished doing a quest, right? If I'm not mistaken. Like I said, it's been a while since I recorded. Um, do we have any skill points? We got five available. So I have to spend those. We, we'll wait till we get to the trader. Um, yeah, man. <laughs> the Stogie, man. It's totally worth it. All right, let's uh, repair this. So we got that going today. Bring the bike down. We'll hit some water up on the way there. All right, here we are. Let's see what he's got for us today. I know it's like two days or whatever until uh, Jen's got uh, more Greetings, stuff up. You did it. We Great did. Job, yeah. Take the Molotovs. Yeah. Now, I don't remember what she's got here, if there's anything we wanted. Let's have a look at, uh, is it science? Yeah, electric fence posts. Now, I haven't really monkeyed, monkeyed around with electric fences. Maybe I should do that, too, to slow them down. I think that would be kind of neat. So let's grab one of those. And if she gets more, we'll, we'll, we'll uh, get more here. The Great Heist, Volume 5. 15 meters without taking any fall damage while carrying 5,000 dukes or more. Now, I want to get some HE ammo, too. Steel knuckles, armor plating. Mm. We could put armor plating in something. It's only plus one armor rating, though. Every, one, every plus one counts. I'm going to, well, sure. Forge steel. HE ammo. I think we're good. I think we're good. Okay. Much obliged, stranger. Yeah, well, now you got any quests? Let's do a job today. Fetch? No. Buried supplies. Clear zombies to the west? No. North? Um, fetch to the northwest. I like you, friend. I've got pool. Oh, Burn business? You sure. Much. I will make it worth your while. I hope so. Alright, let's uh I'm gonna use one of these to get our max health up. Let's drink something here. Let's have some bacon and eggs. Love damn bacons. Alright, uh we'll have one more. Because we're gonna be riding for a bit. And let's see what oops, let's see what we can put that uh armor mod on two. Well, we got enough there. Other boots can, oh, can hold two, I think, right? Uh, yeah. Every one point counts, I would imagine. Let's wear that. Um, and I think that's all we need to do. All right, let's, uh, we didn't have a cowboy hat, no big deal. Let's head off. We're gonna go do this mission. Sorry if, if I'm a bit scattered today. Oh yeah, also too, I want to apologize for um, the last few episodes I've recorded of all my videos. My I did a bunch of recording in one day, um, and I didn't realize that my keyboard was touching my mic stand. So every time I would press a key, it would vibrate through the mic stand, and, and I, I realized that after I was done, um, when I started to... Uh, do the editing I'm like oh no and it was on it was on everything and I was like I, I can't go back and re-record like eight hours worth of stuff or whatever it was I can't remember how long all that recording took me but I was like no nah, I can't do it so I, I really want to apologize for that um, but yeah let's get let's think, get, get to where we're going here all right here we are which one is it oh it's this one. Oh, well, hello there Okay, let's drop some stuff off in the bike. Come on. Here we go. All right, you, you. Uh, yeah, yeah. And let's keep the wrench out here for a second. Because I think I want to... Is there anything we can wrench here before we uh, go into this place? Let's just... This backpack will probably disappear. Yeah. Let's grab this. Oh, well, hello there. What do we got here? Uh, 
I'm a working stiff. Can I have one of these? What's in here? An anvil. Nice. Score. Let's scrap this. Now, anything immediately inside? I know I really shouldn't do this, but... Let's do a cursory loot uh, of a couple things, and then we'll activate the, the, uh, the quest. Let's just scrap this. Look at all these lockers. If I don't loot these lockers now, you know what's going to happen? We'll come back in and, and look at they're all intact. With an intact vending machine, oh my god. We're going to wake up zombies, I know we are. Oh. Wake up! No, nope. well, he ain't waking up. Oh, BDU bottoms. Cap. What do we got here? Nothing. BDU top, nice. Uh, I'm not going to go that far. I think we're done with looting this place. Uh, let's, um, let's scrap this stuff first. Gonna keep that press boy cap modify. Take the die out. Oh god, I got. I wish they could just. Anyway, uh, let's scrap that. This is worth what eight? Um, let's scrap it. Boots worth thirteen. Eh, scrap BDU bottoms. Let's modify. We're gonna take. Oh god, really? And we'll scrap these guys. And modify a lot of brown die. And scrap, and scrap, these guys I think will sell, we can turn these into bandages, how many we can get, five, sure that's probably fine, now we have, I've got BDUs on right, sorry guys like I said it's been a while, yeah we got goth pants, so nine and seven, those are pretty good, eight and seven, what are these at, eight and seven, seven and eight so we want the heat resist so we got what well, we got the best stuff on right now let's actually go put the anvil because we're going to keep this we're going to keep that that might be stackable we're going to sell those three the iron will hold on to because we'll get lots of iron out of here okay let's do this all right I'm gonna get a free chest this here i wonder what this is though i don't think it's a working stiff i think it's a uh yeah, shotgun. Okay, we got to go upstairs. Yeah. Okay, um, let's scrap. Well, we're going to stack those, so let's do this for a second. I got a feeling. Got a feeling. We're going to be taking all the concrete and stuff from here because we're going to need it. So let's scrap these. All right. Kind of wish, well, I don't wish this was a fetch and clear, but we're probably going to end up clearing this place anyway. Hey, Mo. What's up, dude? Did I miss you? I did. Just got to wait for his wobble. Wait for the wobble. Sleeping on the job, that's what happens. To... Gotta be careful. Someone might just come in and shoot you in the head with a crossbow. Okay, that's you done. Uh, let's just double check there's nobody else back here. Some of these new POIs have got these little nooks and crannies in them that if you don't check them, you get guys sneaking up on you. Now, I've yet to be able to make it to the second floor without a zombie hearing me here. So we'll see what happens. Ooh, I'm sneaky. I'm sneaky today. Whoa. Wake up! Nope. He's sleeping. Okay. Now there could be somebody behind there. Nobody hiding in there. 
Now, can I reach the, uh... Ooh! Oh, there's my thing. Got another sleeper here somewhere. You were... Oh, my God. Stop wiggling. See the wiggle on her, man? Oh. Somebody's sleeping on the job. That's what happens. That's what happens, guys. Don't sleep on the job. Unless you can get away with it. Or you're really, really friggin' tired. And the lives of people depend on you to be awake at the time. You know, during your job. Take a quick little nap. Ah, in order to uh, make sure people are safe. Just let your boss know you're doing it. Okay, uh, scrap this. And scrap this. Let's, uh, we'll just leave those for now. All right, let's lockpick this sucker. So yeah, we're going to need a ton, a ton of concrete uh, rebar frames. Um, like as, And, and we're going to need forged steel. So we've got to find a crucible as fast as we possibly can or get the recipe to make it. Eh. I'm trying to decide though with this, with this uh, Elf 18 build. I don't know. I'm kind of... Um, I want to do a video on the skill tree because I'm not happy with it uh, I think a lot of things were are a huge improvement over the uh, uh, previous versions but I think this per the skill tree needs work um, and I'll save that for the for a, another video but I think the skill tree um, for if you're playing multiplayer I think it's perfect I think it's absolutely perfect I wouldn't change a thing because it really um, lends itself to people having specialized roles. And I think it works well. As a solo player, though, and I pretty much only play solo, uh, although if there's somebody that wants to do a duo play in uh, Seven Days to Die, I'd be happy to do that. But um, like I said, it's... Um, I find... Yeah, I'll have to leave it for another video. It's a long discussion about where where I think things are, are lacking and how they should do it. I th I'm just going to leave it at, I think the stats need to go. I don't think having strength, fortitude, perception, intuition, and agility, I don't think they're needed. I think they need to go. This doesn't look like a happy place. Oh. <laughs> Put him right in the hopper. All right, let's get him. Let's get him cooking. Where is the? I, I thought it. Ah, well. I thought he had a crossbow bolt for me. Do you not have a, Oh, I thought there might have been somebody else back there. What's up, dude? Stay down. I told you to stay down. Told you to stay down. Yeah, so this place would have been worth a double loot. Ooh, hammer. And rebar, love it. Uh, so if you're playing a game on solo, um, definitely worth a double loot in this place. Like, go through it once and then take the quest. Go through again. Lots of boxes. Plenty of resources. Loving this, car loving this crossbow. Anybody else out here? Hearing somebody. Oh. Took that one right in the face. Don't fall off the building. Thank you. I think that's it for this. All right. Uh, let's get our knife down. Where are you here? Here we go. Chop up this bird. Yeah, I mean, you, I don't know, I don't know of any any build um, that you could run with uh, um, 
using like a bow on Horde Knight for most of the Horde Knight. You might be able to get away with it on, on day 7 um, or even day 14 depending on your settings. But I tell you, day 21, day 28, and like I play, I play every 30 days, day 30, forget it. Like, <laughs> I started off with the bow and I shot a few people and then it's just like at that point, it's like, oh, you can't do anything. See ya. Anybody else in here? Just can't do anything. All right, nice. Bird's nest. Eh, only four. A level six junk turret? A level six junk turret. Oh my god, really? That's awesome. All right. Meat stew. Is that meat stew? Yeah, it is. Okay, let's uh, talk to paper. And let's... Uh, well, we're not going to save any space if I take the die out of that and then scrap it. Um, let's do this. I want to see if this is going to give us forged steel if we wrench this. I think there's a few things in game if you wrench them they'll give you some forged steel but that's not one. Alright. Alright let's go finish loot this looting this place and then uh, get back to the trader. We got lots of time today so we'll do that. Maybe get some concrete moving at our house. Uh, anything back here? Nothing. Switch this out. Ooh. So I was watching a Glock 9 video. He was saying, someone someone was telling him that street lights, if you nerd pull up to the top of a street light um, and wrench the street light, apparently it gives you steel. I don't know how much. I know if you wrench um, vending machines, you get steel. Uh, what else gives you steel? Um, oh, the little... Uh, I don't know what they're called. They're like little... Um, like if you go into a junkyard, go inside the building, there's like... It's almost like a hoist or a lift that's on the ground. Uh, I can't remember what... It, it's just like a circle in the center and two beams that go out um, on either side. That'll give you steel. Gives you like three pieces, I think. So it's totally worth it. Oh, we're out of space. Uh, let's use this. Delicious dog food. We'll scrap that. Definitely going to take the oil. Can never have enough oil for them Molotovs. Okay, we got to drop some stuff off on the bike here in a second. Okay, what's under here? Pure water. Okay, let's drop some stuff in the bike after I smash this and check the other purse. Mechanical parts, right? We still got enough room for those. Let's use this. Ah, you know what? We'll leave it for a second because we gotta come back in to finish looting this anyway. Nothing. Okay, let's put... What are we taking home here? Uh, we have empty jars, right? We'll put that in there for now. Uh, we're definitely taking the rebar and... Definitely taking the level 6 junk turret, so let's put those in there. Uh, we have any duplicates? Nothing. We could take the steroids. Uh, I don't know. It's in here. I'll we'll take the bandage. Not going to say no to that. Yeah, scrap. Let's use this. Take the money. Alright, we can scrap this. Okay. Okay, the 
paint we can start putting outside. So let's we'll put that in there. Bring this in here. And modify. Take the... Yeah. Put that in there for now. Okay, and this we can scrap, this we can scrap, take this, uh, denim pants, eight, we'll, we'll scrap it. All right, what, uh, what left have we got in here? Water, 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 Washington. Okay, that's, we've already got water in here, don't we? Oh, God, really? Ugh. Okay, one of these can go in here. Like no room for anything. Paint can go in there. Got room for two more things. Water's in there. Oh, blueberry pie recipe. Nice. Scrap that. And we'll take this. And the one garbage left. More oil. Nice. Alright, cool. Now, do we have... We have... No, I thought we had uh, bottled water in there, but I guess not. All right, let's get back to the trader. All right, let's go in here. This might be the last time we come to the trader until day 19. Now, they might have a quest that we can take here, which which I think will be good. Pipe bombs? Oh, steel pickaxe, I think, is what we want more than anything. Yes, we definitely want the steel pickaxe. We'll take that. Um, inventory. Let's sell a bunch of stuff here. Um, yep, 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 yep. Yep. Um, I don't want to sell any junk turrets because I think we can set them up around the base. Um... And they'll be in different positions, so when we're, whenever we get to certain positions, I think I want to scrap this for both parts, so we're going to hang on to that. Uh, when we get to certain positions, um, the different turrets will fire off. So I think we want to keep that. Light bulb? I don't think we're going to need lighting and stuff for the horde. Maybe, but maybe not. Forge steel? Hmm... Just hold off for now. I mean, I should get. I don't know what. You uh, come back sometime. Let's do this. There's no way to know what. Um, I need a workbench. Can't remember if this has got. No, it's got a mixer, but that's it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Let's just hang on to the, oh, the coin for now. Apologies. Check back again, and I may have what you're looking for. Maybe. Uh, 1.5 north, south, east. Yeah, I think we leave these for now. I think we just leave them. All right, let's get back to the house. Ooh, we got a dog visiting our house here. Or a wolf. See ya. Wouldn't want to be ya. All right, let's carve them up. Uh, we got lots of space now, so let's do this. Take the meat when we can get it. Excellent. Yeah, my biggest fear is that the horde doesn't spawn where we want them to spawn, and they spawn on this side. Ooh, we don't have enough room. Uh, they spawn on this side, and then uh, rather than coming around to the other side with the bases, they just destroy this building. <laughs> so we'll have to see how it plays out. I don't know. I don't know what will happen. All right. Let's get... Oh, we got our stuff grown here. Nice. Let's get this stuff put away. Yeah, we're slowly running out of space here. Might as well throw the anvil in there as well. Uh... 
yeah, we've got a bellows in there. That's right. I forgot. Let's go down here and grab this rest of this stuff. Then we're going to come back up. We're going to grab as much concrete as I have. And we're going to outline where our base is going to be. Um, and by base, I mean just sort of bottom of where we're going to be standing for Horde Night. I got a good idea of how to lay it out. I just need to know how wide I need to make it here. So let's throw the junk turret in here for now. Bicycle can stay on me. Uh, what do we have in here? Just a fortifying grip. Okay, so let's modify you. Pull you out. Complete. Put you in there and we'll modify you. Complete. Throw you in my toolbar. Perfect. All right, so we've got lots of rebar, not so much concrete. We didn't get any sand, but I'm going to do that in the next, uh, on the next day. Most likely what I'll do is day 18, I'll spend just gathering resources. Um, I need a hammer too here. Gathering resources and organizing everything in my inventory here. So let's do this. All right, I think I'm going to ditch that spear too. I'm not really a good spear user, so. Okay, so. Uh, if that's going to be our wall and we want our drawbridge to come down here, um, so that's the edge. So the drawbridge I think is six wide, four, five, six. So the drawbridge lays down like that, will be connected here. Let's make it one more just in case. So like that. So that'll be where our the drawbridge will connect to. And it's five wide. Okay. Let's just strip this out of here. We'll leave the rest as is. So that's five wide. Now my thought was Let's just do five by five base here. It's always a good thing to start with. Five by five base. Okay, so five by five base. This will be the drawbridge. I, I think I'm going to leave the back open so I don't need to cover this with blocks. And the idea is the zombies will come along and knock on a door that's here. So now this needs to have blocks on both sides around here, right? So the door will be here. This will be a solid block. This will be a solid block. Now we need one more out here. So the idea, so that's a block, that's a block, right? This is a wall and the ramp is like, comes right up to the door. And then this slot here, we can break this out. This is where they can fall down. Now I'll probably leave this as solid. Now it's gonna be up six high too, by the way. So this will be solid. And then they'll be starting, all the ones along here will be angled so they can fall down. So there's really only a single file that can come along here um, and make it to the door. Now a bunch of them can stand here and this is going to be a big hole down here too, right? So if they want to try and get to me over there, they won't be able to. I'll be shooting across this way. I'll probably have to make this wider. Right? So I'll be standing in here, shooting across this way. They won't be able to get to me because they can't jump that. So they're going to try and break in this door. Now what I'm probably going to do, I hope I have enough resources for this by the time that comes, but we're going to have a reinforced steel door, vault door here. A second one on the inside, either here or here, which will leave open. And then the third one, like back here, that I'll leave open. So they think they can break through here to get to me. Like this is going to be all solid along here, right? Like that. This will be solid here. And I'll put plates on here to make it even tougher. And the same here, plates. 
and I'll probably make them, uh, these will be steel plates if I can make them steel plates. So they're going to be banging on this door to get in. They're going to spend all their time trying to get in here. You know what? I'm going to have to put both doors on the inside here. Like one here and one here. So one door right on this block, one door right on that block. Because if they do break through here, right? If they do break through here, I still want to be able to shoot them. And the other thing too is maybe I put a no, I don't know. I was going to say maybe I put a dart trap above this, but that needs to be solid. It all needs to be solid there. Anything to just to keep them right here where I can kill them. And then worst case scenario, we do like a, um, that other base. We drop the drawbridge down. I go back across to my base. And instead of having the drawbridge bridge raise up onto that side, um, we have it raise up into here. So it's not blocking our view when we're up here. And we can finish the Horde Knight from up here on this, on these platforms. Like, they're going to rip this down so quickly. When they when they just focus on that one spot, they're just going to rip it down. So I'm going to have to make it thicker. So let's do, uh, real quick here, let's get one of these crafting. Alright, so that's how this is going to be laid out, I think. So let's start by, so I know for sure these are going to be, like that. So that's the base for sure. But you can see what I mean. This is going to be solid concrete up six blocks high. So we're going to need a heck of a lot of concrete at 20 per hit. There's 400 already, 420 already. That's a lot of concrete. But I think once it's up, you know, it's going to be so, I don't want to say impenetrable, but it's going to be very difficult for them to get to me. You know, and we can put metal spikes down here. Um, like if they, as long as they can sense they can get to me through that door, I'm gold, which I think they will, you know, but you know what Thought did, right? Thought he farted, but he crapped his pants. We'll just have to see how it goes. Come on. Beautiful. All right, well, that's that for now. I'm going to pick up all these. I can't afford zombies damaging them. I mean, I know I can just repair them, but I don't want to do that. A resource frugal. All right, so that's how that's gonna go. I'm pretty. I'm feeling pretty confident about it. The only thing is the resources. Making sure we have enough resources to pull this off. Like I'm gonna need so much stone. So I'm gonna have to go back over to the mine. So much stone. So much iron. Um. So I think actually, you know what? Let's go back inside. Let's get a bit of stone here so I can get some. Uh, some sand grinding up so I can get some concrete moving tonight. I'm gonna have to make another mixer and just have mixers going continuously. I can't afford to not have them mixing concrete or generating sand or whatever. I just have to have it going all the time. All right, well, that's good enough for now. Let's get back and oh, trash. Oh, well, that's gonna make things easier. Ooh. Ooh, I've got an idea for that. I got an idea for grenades. I don't know if it's going to work though. Because we could put angle blocks on this side and have them fall into here, but then have it all blocked off. So when they fall into here, they have nowhere to go. They're all collecting in here. And then have a little trap door that I can just drop a bunch of grenades down and then drop a live one down and just kill them all in one shot. But the only way that's going to work is if I have enough grenades to continuously do that. Or else they're just going to smash. Most likely they'll smash underneath me. And that won't do now, will it, Precious? 
Um, yeah, and gunpowder. Gunpowder is going to be another thing we're really going to need. Um, like I have to be continuously making bullets between now and then. I'm going to go to 762. And i got to figure out where our junk turret's going to go. I'll have to set up a place so that the junk turret is firing continuously all night. Uh, let's do this. Um, I think it's got to be firing continuously all night. I don't know if I want to do this here, though. I'm going to have to cover it up before Horde Night. There should be lots of places in the desert I can find more... Uh, more nitrate but I'm gonna have to just see that's the one thing I, that, that I don't like about uh, having constant hordes is that you spend all your time gather well, not all your time but a fair bit of time gathering resources rather than just exploring and driving around and having fun but that's just my game style you know which is why I don't like having the, the horde like every seven days because you just find yourself constantly preparing for it uh, right, nothing goes in there. Alright, so concrete mix, a rebar. Alright, so I am going to uh, end this episode here. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I'm going to take, like I said, the next episode and just gather resources. Then when we come back next time, um, what we can do is just start building stuff. Um, I think that's probably the best way to go. Now let's get... Uh, it's stone. Let's get... How much stone do we have? Do we have any extra stone in here? Not very much. Um, so let's get maybe... 2,000? Oh my god, really? See, I almost expect to type the number in there. I know it's not the way to do it, but that's... That's the way my brain works sometimes, guys. All right, we need to make some more repair kits because I'm definitely going to need those for tomorrow. Um, all right, so I'm leaving the episode there. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe, and you can drop any comments in the comments section down below. Uh, I'm going to work on, not tonight, but uh, oh, maybe tonight, I don't know, work on getting this place up to snuff, uh, get a roof across this whole thing, except for over here, which is where our, our food is going to be. Um, and, yeah, uh, hopefully things will... Uh, work out in the next episode I can get a ton of resources and get stuff going and I make another uh, mixer here so that we can have a ton of concrete going at once um, and I'm gonna leave the forges off for now just so we don't get any screamers overnight uh, I don't think I would but you never know um, but yeah so until next time everybody we'll see you all later